Rack, 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 rack. Stay, stay. Go get him. <laughs> go get him. You go get him. We have ground, ground, ground breaking, ground breaking news, everybody. <laughs> First, we are in escrow on a house. Dream house. And so first things first, you guys, we gotta go get a puppy. We gotta celebrate this. I'll tell you this is, Olivia just texts me. <laughs> You're getting a puppy? Yes, girl, we're getting a puppy. I haven't had a puppy in so long, but we're getting a Chesapeake. Tell them what we're getting. Uh, Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Yeet! He is freaking cute. He is cute. So we're taking you along for the ride. We gotta drive to Santa Cruz to pick up our pup, but we're gonna make the weekend of it. We're gonna go stay at a nice little hotel. Oh, don't forget your swimsuit. Super nice hotel. Little hotel. And um, um it's a super nice hotel. Super nice hotel. <laughs> and we're gonna enjoy our little getaway to Santa Cruz. Let's get going. Show him his kennel. So this is his Dakota kennel. It has mm -hmm. a lock. And it was very expensive. Um, nice quality. Only the best for our pup. And then this is his puppy pad. We got all Carhartt stuff because dogs like to bite when they're babies. Oh so yeah. It's just the best option from the beginning. Okay, then. Okay, guys. We always get two beds for some reason. <laughs> that will be your bed. That will be mine. <laughs> I'm so excited. No. Today, you guys, it's like Christmas. <sighs> We're gonna be vlogging the whole day. We gotta go get our little pup. <laughs> but first things first, we're at a hotel, so I normally always start my day with coffee. <laughs> but look at this thing. I just, you know, I'm not feeling very hopeful in this coffee making machine. We might have to make a coffee run. But it's currently almost eight o'clock and we pick the pup up at 10. Well, Elijah just chills in bed over there. I'm gonna go get us some for real coffee because this is not gonna work. And, um, <laughs> So I'm gonna make my way to Whole Foods because basically anytime we make our way out of Reading and come to Santa Cruz, I always have to go to, to Whole Foods and I just make up excuses for why I need to go. So this morning I need to go because I definitely need a different cup of coffee than that one in the room. And surely I'll get Elijah like a hot chocolate as well. But also sadly you guys, this is so strange, but if you've watched my videos, you know that a couple weeks ago I had surgery on my clavicle. I broke my clavicle, so it's been healing, but anytime you have surgery, they give you a big dose of antibiotics so that your scar or your wound doesn't get infected after surgery. But don't we all just have like a love-hate relationship with antibiotics because yeah, they do really good things for us when we need them, but they also kill all the bacteria in our body. So 
I just don't have any, you know, I didn't have any good bacteria left in my body. So I've been trying to rebuild that, but, but, you know, taking a ton of probiotics and drinking kefir and all this stuff. But even still, I got a UTI, which is really unusual for me. And I'm just like linking the two together. It could be so random and not even related to the antibiotics that I had from surgery. But this morning I'm like, okay, I got to figure this out for, for days. I've just been like, what is going on with me? Like my back is hurting a little bit. Like my low back, like feels like pressure and you know, it just hurts to go to the bathroom. If you've ever had a UTI, it's just like uncomfortable. So this morning I am going to go get some cranberry juice and see if Whole Foods just has anything related to UTI support. I know this is like TMI. Do you even really want to know this information? But that's where we're at this morning. So we're on a bit of a hunt. I woke up in the middle of the night uncomfortable. So I'm like, okay, if I'm waking up in the middle of the night, like this is not, we got to figure this out. So we are off to Whole Foods um, and I'll make the excuse for that. I'm, I'm okay to do that. So here we go. Okay, Whole Foods Americano Hot Black. Um, probably like a seven out of ten. You know, it's like a solid C. Not too bad. How are you feeling soon to be puppy dad? Mega excited. I couldn't even sleep last night excited. I literally couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> okay, are we going for it? Yeah, we gotta go meet this puppy's mom and dad. And let it know it's getting a new home today. It's coming back with us. Who's that? <laughs> Go grab us some breakfast while Elijah figures this one out. He gets up, he's like, what the heck? He walks like... <laughs> like a champion. He does. Needed to stop to get some food midway home. So per usual. Elijah's favorite, the habit. Giving this puppy a little run, run for his money. Honestly, he's just been sleeping. He's been chilling in the car. Been doing a good, good job. But I had to get him some pee pads because <laughs> yeah, he might have peed on the blanket in the back seat. <laughs> well, hi. Here I am, Allie, in the future reporting to you about the puppy status. Um, I'm realizing this, that this vlog is missing a component. We forgot to tell you that the place we are currently living at does not allow puppies. So sweet little Buck has been living with his auntie for a couple weeks until we close on our house. So there's kind of this anticlimactic feel I realize, right? There's no this home bringing, homecoming because we weren't bringing him to our home. We're taking him to his aunt's house where he's gonna live for a couple weeks. But don't worry, Elijah picks him up every morning and drops him off every evening. He goes to work with Elijah every day, hangs out with him all day. He's living his best puppy life. 
but I just felt like I need to update you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching this vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, comment below, are you a puppy person or a kitty person? Curious. All right, you guys, until next time, we'll see you then.